entire sport, and we are glad to have our seat at the table here. Off the bounce, Deuce McBride for two. Stay the other day. But I tell you what, I have not heard one complaint. Everybody's just happy to be here. Wonder if some teams aren't even going to get to that threshold this year. So you take it a day at a time, a game at a time. How about McBride? He does this time for South Dakota State. McBride off the bounce. Man. Who says the mid-range game is gone? Mountaineers in their old gold uniforms with the blue lettering. Aaron Pass finds its way to McNeil. At least give it a shot. Mm. McBride, Ooh. what a crossover. And what a finish. Boyd's picking up what would be a third foul. McBride, he's been money from 10 feet. McBride got a foul, and again a chance for a three-point. Hundred years ago, T South Dakota was actually called Byron South Dakota, and the Postal Service. But you know what? The West Virginia Mountaineers got some big news they announced earlier today regarding their schedule. Just getting a lot more. And I heard him tell a story the other day that at some point along the way, Tash Sherman hits the. Georgetown's length. A real asset. And a turnover again. It's McBride streaking down the floor. Matthews, this layup is good. And again, going back to that tutelage of the personal instruction from a Hall of Famer and Patrick Ewing. How about that? Point guard McBride down in the block. Most player. That carries weight. Like a Jedi. Master teacher. Culver back into the game in attack mode. Score it and a foul. And Jared Culver does have two fouls. And Culver remains on the bench. McBride, pump big. Up and through. Possessions here offensively. McBride, quicker than a hiccup. Works that baseline. And he sets up bridges beautifully. Sherman. McBride. 13 points. That leads the way for West Virginia. Leave McBride open. Stay attached to him. Here's... I don't know what Harris is doing. Lost it again. McBride heads up with the steal. How about the dime? Five quickies for West Virginia. Stolen away by McBride. Alley up. Score the goal! Evan Matthews! Where does the scoring come from West Virginia, Robbie? Well, they're going to go inside early. And with Miles McBride, it's almost like taking away the amount of time you've got to guard. And there's an interception by the former football player, Miles McBride, Ooh. takes it strong to the hole. Loves his right hand, can really score out of the post, just knows how to play. Chris Mooney calls Nathan Kale the best. Showing you just what kind of one-on-one -on -one player he really is. And right now, there's not much defense being played out here in West Virginia. They found something with Miles McBride. Not been there from downtown for Richmond. They're now one of seven from three. It's Almost like these two teams switch shooting abilities. Pat Sherman through the passing lanes, and you set your big fella up. This looks Another like the West Virginia of old. Most points they've scored in the first half in two years. And and here's a leak out in an easy two. It's been a struggle from the three-point line for Richmond to get it going. Here's McBride. And now they knock in seven threes and do it in a, an efficient manner. Miles McBride has been just the best player on the floor today. The, the ones that aren't get a lot of publicity. But 85% is, I feel like, a number that most people in the public. The Big Ten is certainly very good. And we have bracketology already. Joe Lenardi, we're not wasting any time. <laughs> bracketology. <laughs> it's the seven. From the corner. Yeah, it didn't look good on that shot, but they think that eventually he's going to become a very good shooter. How about that drive? Matthews for three. In and out. There's the Kept alive. Nice Culver again. and a rejection from behind by Anaruna. And then McBride will bury the three. And it's McNeil was a junior college Division II All-American a couple of years ago. 30 points per game. He could fill it up. You don't yet. expect that, as you said. You look at West Virginia's strength is their rebounding ability. Abaji into double figures with 11 Bob now. Davis has got a book out called Dream is Real. He did the book along with Jeff Bowling. They're opening up with five games away from home. The last time was 1940 and 41, and I was two years old.
Yes, he yes. has. You win 888 games, man. That itself is worth the Hall of Fame. Yeah, second it. Absolutely. McBride with a jumper to make it 70. The skip pass. Ends up with one off the heel from nice Sherman. Pass. Offensive rebound. NBA and athlete. And he's certainly above average, and he's certainly good enough of an athlete to be an outstanding NBA player, no question. But uh, what I love about him is he's going to be a fair. Now the key for the Mountaineers is how do you get the ball to Culver? McBride with the left hand. At the rim by Kedrian Johnson. Back the other way comes Taz Sherman. He gives it up. McBride from the corner. It's a three. Oh, because outside of Culver, the strength of this team is the five or six perimeter players we've seen step up tonight, including this young guy. Deuce McBride's hands if I'm Bob Huggins or inside the Culver. It's a matchup zone. Someone's getting an open three. There it is from the corner, and it goes yep. down for Miles wow. McBride. Can't answer. A chance for the Mountaineers to extend their lead. Get the ball to Deuce or Culver. Uh-oh. McBride oh. feeling it from NBA oh. Ray. Here maybe Sherman on the down screen. Well, he's got it with five to shoot. McBride hunting his shot. Fades away. Got it. He's the sixth winning his coach in, in the history of college basketball. He's likely to pass Bob Knight and go into fourth place by the end of the season, so there's no question. They skip one to the wing, and there is Deuce Working McBride. in practice and has gotten limited minutes, but he's a skilled player, Bob. Smith, but he couldn't hit from point-blank range. And McBride brings it back the other way. Finds a trailer. And there. so far. McNeil hangs Miles McBride out to dry, but he beats the double team. And at the rim, hanging from the rim. Bridges with another triple denied by Culver and taken back by Miles McBride with the left hand. He's able to finish. It Does West Virginia have a push in them? Down by 12, under eight to go. McBride knocks it down. And this kid makes tough shots. Doesn't matter who's guarding him. An answer from McBride. And T.J. Shannon wanted that ball more than three guys in gold jerseys. A three at the other end for Deuce McBride. A three would tie it for West Virginia. McBride looking for the tie. Got yes, it. 12 seconds to go. Go. Uses a screen. Gets to the baseline. Off balance. He's got it. You could see that with Jalen Wilson. That's a five. And so off that illegal screen, West Virginia ball again. You see the 7-0 run. And now a big 12 career at Kansas. Sean McNeil off to McBride at the top of the key and able to get it back and attacking the paint, especially if you're going to play small ball. You've got to drive it, drive and kick, drive and kick. That's where the ball belongs for Kansas when McCormick's in the game. When he gets points easily, everything opens up for the offense. West Virginia, if you've just joined us, is led by as many as 10. There's a whistle, though. Count the basket for McBride. The rim for him. West Virginia got off to that 7-1 and one start. We're ranked seventh in the country in late December. <laughs> Spiro Didis, Bill Raftery, our producer, Mark Wolf, Bob Fishman, our director. What a pass inside, boy. McBride at new heights so far this season. Matthews on a three, won't go. Offensive rebound. That's when you're going to Drake Johnson. And a three. Good feed to a cutting Culver. They are established. He's gotten off to a terrific start in this one. Four points in the early going. McBride going to work Carol off the, the block and trying to be physical with Culver. And, and he is very good at getting the other team in foul trouble. Nice good spot. backdoor cut. And a basket by... Well, again, it speaks to the depth and talent on this West Virginia team that they've been over to, able to overcome. Mm. A mental uh, rest, if you will, and they come out sharp, Bob, to get started. And out of the huddle, they go right to touch. Coaches in the history of the state of Ohio. These two guys have a lot in common. How about that? See the spacing now. They're going to try to get four out. They can drive it. They can score it inside. Look at that. To return for McBride. This is a big possession right here. 
McBride penetrates off glass. Yep. Well, that's to my point, Bob. They they got off to a hot start, but I think they've lost their edge. Maybe it is fatigue. And McBride comes down to the other end. Moving. Davion Mitchell, he's in trouble. Four on the shot clock. It's a takeaway. And a flush for Emmett Matthews. Third foul. McBride backs his way in. Wow. Culver, nice look down low, spinning. Out of trouble was Bridges. Now it's Deuce McBride. Hits a three. Eric Culver lost it, found it again. Four on the shot clock. Deuce McBride's going to have to put one up. Instead, it's Bridges. He beat the oh, tower. They like to go inside early to Culver. He's a foul magnet. Backdoor cut, and McBride gets them out. It won't go. The back tap, though, keeps it alive. McBride at the elbow. Yes. Final four in 04. What a group of young athletes. Deuce McBride with the left hand to go. And McNeil saves it to Deuce McBride. McBride, tough fadeaway. He knocks it down. Five to shoot. McBride off a shot fake, knocks another Mario one down. The history of the old Big Gate Kemper Arena. Boy, this kid is unbelievable. Look at this. McBride finishes Dude. after the steal from Cunningham. He has harassed Cunningham worse than a truant officer today. Look there at he him. is again. Wow. Deuce McBride with three seconds to go in the half. Oh, my goodness. Oh, down. Comfortable playing on the perimeter with all these shooters. McBride had 16 in the first half. Step back here, make it 18. Just for trying to get some shots up, just for trying to get efficiency in your offense. How about that for efficiency so against Jalen Bridges that time? Yes, he did. Just went right down on the post and just backed him all the way in. He did not hesitate like that. Well, nice job of being able to create some offense. I didn't think he had nowhere to go. McBride from the elbow jumper. Four players have scored there for West Virginia. Backdoor look, McBride, get it up. Kind of good as a high school quarterback. Gets it from his mom and dad. Dad played hoops at Xavier. McDeal again, another long two try. And right into the hands of McBride. That was a quick shot, maybe too quick. There's McBride. Here to open up the half in the first four minutes is exactly what Moorhead State needed. From the free throw line, McBride. Good defense by McBride. And the take takes the contact, and a deuce is loose. corver has got six of his eight points coming in the second half. McBride from up top with a hand in his face. Here's the matchup. Culver with the spin move, missing everything. They leave McBride wide open, and he makes a pay. Back. Behind the back move, got away here from Potter. So McBride on the loose and the one-handed flush. Where he set the New York State High School scoring record. A pretty area of the country. Deuce trying to line it up, and he does. Yeah. Very lucky. This is what attack the zone before it settles. Pull up. There McBride. you go. He's got a good pull-up game, this kid. Look at the trap in the corner. That's what you got to do. Get in the teeth. Well, that is a deep look. But why not? Yeah, make for him. He can handle it. He sure can. Look Over. at the cover. There's an open look. As open as you get. Absolutely. Center of that zone. A lot of contact. Culver digging in. Is it going to this now? Little post up, nice pass. Matthews slams it home. A much kinder, gentler. Look at this. Oh, so Boyan again. Yeah, and it's McBride too. Up ahead, Matthews races to knock it down. Answering right back. McBride.